Okay, my last race here at Cheltenham is going to be race 18, the Sunbet Stairs Grade 1 Hurdle over three miles. And uh, I'll be handing you over to Martin for the last few races uh, of the festival. But let's see the runners here. So number one is Crossbow Creek. Two is Eights of Mystery. Three, Fantasy Man. Four, Prime Suspect. Five, Wonderful in Young Life. Six, Wreck-It Ralph. Seven, Bada Sierra. Eight, Espana Senorita. And nine is Magic Muldoon. So nine of them to challenge over these three miles. Some of these horses probably would have uh, qualified for the per temps, but chose to come here to the Sunbet Stayers and into the first of 12 hurdles. Everybody's over it. The one pushing through in the middle at the moment is Espana Senorita. But uh, nobody wants to take this on. All in a bit of a hold. Going to be a tactical ride this over three miles. You know, but it's wonderful in young life that leads them into the second. Takes it fast, gets away from it well. And it's got a three length advantage of a bad Sierra against the fence. Outside of that is Fantasy Man. All pretty much in a line here. We're going to the third. Everybody's over that. Just at the rear at the moment is Paul Rhodes' prime suspect. But uh, a long way to go. So it's a wonderful in young life. It's going to lead them. By just a couple to eight, some mystery and fantasy man. That is here against the fence. The outside of that is Crossbow Creek. And we've got a Spanish Senorita, Magic Muldoon, and then the Grey Wreck It Ralph and Prime Suspect, just a length or so, just detached from the pack. But wonderful, you know, I still leads by a couple to eight, some mystery. And a further length back to Crossbow Creek. Alongside Espana, Serenita, and Fantasy Man. So they go downhill for the first time here. They'll line up to the straight towards a finishing line. And it's still wonderful in young life. The Graham Clutterbuck leading by a couple to Crossbow Creek and Eight Summer Street. A fairly sedate pace here. As we thought, it'd be fairly tactical. Just at the rear still is Wreck-It Ralph and uh, Prime Suspect. These trainers looking to, a couple of trainers in here looking for their first uh, win of the festival. Me Graham with Wonderful and Young Life. And Crossbow Creek's there. Hates the mystery. Obviously Joshua having a fine festival. And you've got uh, Espana Senorita and Fantasy Man. Espana Senorita for Darren Thompson who's just won the Ryan out. Uh, fantasy man for Mr. Robertson who picked up the per temps today and then we've got Bada Sierra for Molliots and there are now uh, three of them at the rear, Magic Maldoon, Wreck-It Ralph and Prime Suspect but wonderful and young life still bowling along in front yes, I'm going to hit the halfway of the hurdles, I've done six and I'll have six more to negotiate and I'll go away from the grandstand shortly the hill as the crowd cheers so that's pretty much as we were it is wonderful in young life from crossbow creek it's a mystery fantasy man spaniel senorita bada sierra prime suspect wreck it ralph and magic muldoon the nine of them they approach the next We've still got uh, just under a mile and a quarter to travel still wonderful in young life happy to be there on his own it's heavy conditions. We can steal a march on the rest. We've got to go up the Cheltenham Hill in this heavy slog. It was certainly has uh, favoured those soft ground horses over the past uh, day and a half. Uh, the eighth. We take that well. We're losing one here. Magic Muldoon's being pulled up. Bad luck for Martin Leader. We've already been successful at the festival. So he should be chuffed. They take the ninth, and we're getting a little bit closer order as Wonderful in Young Life now just leads by length to Crossbow Creek, and a further length back to Fantasy Man. And the outside is Espana Senorita, inside of that is Eights of Mystery and Bada Sierra, the grey Wreck-It Ralph and Prime Suspect, stalking them all from the rear at the moment. But there's only probably eight lengths from first to last. I'm going to start that downward run. I go over the tenth, probably takes that well as well. They've all jumped pretty well over these flights. Wonderful Young Life just being pushed along a little bit now. Keep his mind on the work as they go downhill. Wants to stay in that first position. He's certainly uh, happy with his work so far. 
So it's Wonderful in Young Life by a length and a half to Fantasy Man, Crossbow Creek, Bada Sierra, Espana Senorita. And the length back to Wreck It Ralph and Eights and Mystery. One that's getting a little bit detached at the moment is Prime Suspect. Got a bit of work to do from there. So as they approach the next, the penultimate, it's still Wonderful in Young Life. Well, they've been pushed along now is Fantasy Man and Bada Sierra. The one on the outside now is Eights and Mystery. They take the 11th. Everybody jumps it well. But Wonderful in Young Life is going to be challenged now by Joshua Sutherland's Eights and Mystery. Bada Sierra following him through. So the three at front now are Wonderful in Young Life, Eights and Mystery, and Bada Sierra. There's a length between each of them. We've just got three furlongs left to travel, and there's only one more hurdle to take. It's Wonderful in Young Life, Eights and Mystery, Bada Sierra. Coming out of the pack now is Fantasy Man and Wreck It Ralph. On the outside is Prime Suspect, making up some good ground from his position earlier. But it's Wonderful in Young Life and Eights and Mystery. These two, just half a length between them. They're coming up to the last. They've got a length and a half on Bada Sierra, Fantasy Man. Still moving really well as Prime Suspect on the outside. But it's Eights and Mystery that starts to pull away now as they go over the 12th. Jumps it well. So it's Eights and Mystery. The one that's going backwards now is Wonderful in Young Life, Eights and Mystery from Fantasy Man, Bada Sierra and Prime Sussex between these we're inside the final furlong. Eights and Mystery's got a couple of lengths advantage here. Is he going to get caught by Fantasy Man? I don't think so. Eights and Mystery's going to hang on to this. The Sunbet Stairs hurdle goes to Joshua Sutherland. Finishing fast at the end there was Prime Sussex but uh, second was Fantasy Man for David Robertson. Third was Prime Suspect for Paul Rhodes. We'll see who came fourth. Comfortable win there for Eights and Mystery for Joshua Sutherland. Fourth was Bada Sierra for Molly at Surfer. Espana Senorita for Darren Thompson came fifth. And over to Martin.